so guys as you can see here we we have this center button is the start button and this right one is the stop button and these are our seven leds as you can see in front of us so whenever i will press this start button the blinking starts see now it is blinking infinitely it's a forever loop now i will press the stop button see the blinking stops so this is how you will initiate the blinking using uh, push button with a pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller let me again press the start button see the blinking starts now as soon as i press the stop button the blinking stops hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you how you can interface led with a pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller we are going to use seven leds then guys we will blink them all leds will blink together and then guys this blinking operation we will start by using a start button a push button and then whenever we want to stop the blinking we will simply press the other button that is another push button and this will not be the outside button this will be within the programming so i will show you how you can initiate and eliminate blinking operation within the programming so let's get started so guys uh, this is our pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version these are our seven leds each LED has one longer pin, one shorter pin. Name the longer pin as power, shorter pin as ground. You common all the ground pins of your LED and send it to the common ground of your pick like this. Then guys, for the longer pin, you will need 220 ohm resistor each for each LED. Starting from the bottom LED, connect its longer pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, send it to the pin number B0. That is pin number 33. You can use any available digital input output pin. I'm going to use the pin number B0. And if you have any other pin available in your project, you can use that. Now for the second last LED, I'm going to connect the power pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I'm going to send it to the pin number B1, that is pin number 34 of the pick. Now guys, for the third LED, I will connect it to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor, the longer pin. And then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I'm going to send it to the pin number B2 like this. Now guys, for the power pin, I will connect it to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. This is for the fourth LED and from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I'm going to send it to the pin number B3 like this. Now guys, for the third LED from the top, connect the longer pin of your LED similarly to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I'm going to send it to the pin number B4. Now guys, for the second LED from the top, connect the power pin that is the longer pin of your LED to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I will send it to the pin number B5 that like this. Now guys, for the topmost pin, I will connect the longer pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I'm going to send it to the pin number B6 like this. Now guys, for the two push buttons, here we have one button will start the blinking process and other button will eliminate the blinking process. So guys, for that, what I'm going to do is that for the top button and the bottom button, we take the one pin as VCC. Each button has two pins. One you take as VCC and remember that button pins are not polar. You can shuffle them. You can take the other pin as VCC as well. Doesn't matter. Now guys, for the other two pins of the each button, I named for the top button, I named the other pin as a start and for the bottom button, I name it as a stop. Like this. Now to connect this button with the pick, you will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor each for each button. Now guys, for the top button, connect the start pin to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this. Then from the same pin, you will take out your output. For the output, you can use any available digital input output pin. I'm going to use a pin number C0, that is pin number 15 of the PIC16 f 7 a microcontroller. Now guys, from, from the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor for the top button, you take out your ground like this. Now for the bottom, bottom button, you will uh, connect, uh, connect the VCC pin of both the button, top and bottom button like this. You common them and then you send it to the common VCC of the PIC like this. Now guys, for the bottom button, connect the stop pin to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this. Now from the same pin, stop pin, you will take out your output. Again, you can use any available digital input output pin. I'm going to use a pin number 16 of the pick, that is pin number C1. Now from the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor of the bottom button, you can take out your ground like this. In this way, your both the buttons are connected to the pick. Now guys, let's get to the uh, uh, hardware before we proceed to the micro for pick. So guys, as you can see, this is the hardware. These are the seven LEDs connected to the pick. These are the two push buttons I'm gonna use. Uh, this you can take as start, and this will be the stop button. 
like this and then these are the LEDs that will blink. So let's get to the micro C4 pick. So this is our micro C4 pick which is 7.2.0. 7.5.0 is also available or you can also use a higher vision, higher the better. Click on file, new, new project. This pops up, new project wizard. Click on next, write the name of the project. What is the name of the project? LED blink initiated by button tutorial learning microcontrollers. So pick 16 fa 7 is the one I'm going to use and 20 megahertz is a crystal I'm going to use. I click on next and finish. Let me zoom out. So guys, uh, this is our programming window. Let me zoom in. First of all, save your project. I have pressed the control S key to save my project. Now we initialize the pin uh, port on which our LEDs are connected. That is port B. So just like in Arduino, you write pin mode output. Here we use a trace register and zero means output, one means input. So we had made the whole port output. We are using eight out of seven pins for the seven LEDs. Now the initial state of the port must be zero. Initially all the LEDs must be off. So this command here, just like in case of Arduino, it's like digital write high or low. So in case of uh, pick it's like this port b equals to zero means it's low give some initialization delay now 20 will do fine so we have all of our seven LEDs initialized now we go for our uh, buttons button initialization we have two buttons at c0 so let's initialize the first button receive dot f0 equals to one now see that for the output we use zero for the input we are going to use one now for the initial state of the button write down port c dot F0 equals to 0. Why 0? Because the 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the grounding end. Whenever this 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the grounding end, this means the button, whenever it will be pressed, it will be send a 1. So if the button pressed sends a 1, so initially it must be at 0. So that's why it's 0. Now give some initialization delay. This is our first button. We make it the start button. So this is our start button. Now we take the other button and declare it. So this is our second button. And this is at C dot F1. That's all. Rest will remain the same. And I make it stop button. So this is the stop button. Now we can go to our forever loop. We have our LEDs initialized. We have our buttons initialized. Now forever loop starts here and ends here. Inside it we write what what is that we should write here. Now here we should write uh, first of all, we will just blink the LEDs. I write port B dot. Okay, port B equals to zero cross FF. This means that uh, complete port turned on. And then we give a blinking delay of 250. So after 250 milliseconds, it will turn off. For that, take it back to the initial state. This is the initial state. Now the port is off. Now for how long it should stay off? It should stay off for another 250 milliseconds like this so let's build and build and burn this code and see what happens it should just blink the leds so it's built i go to the picket 3 programming programmer tool click on file import this is a code that's why we just created let it write okay the new code is being written let it write and then we will go to the hardware once it's written Okay, it's written on the hardware. I will power it up from the same software. So let me open the. So this is our hardware. Let me turn it on. See the LED is blinking after 250 millisecond. It is blinking. Right now buttons are not programmed. So see whenever I press the button, nothing happens. See, pressing buttons do nothing. Because we had not programmed the buttons yet. See that I press the button, nothing is happening. Now we will program the button. So whenever the button is pressed, it should not like uh, as soon as I power up the C, I have turned it off. Now as soon as, as I press the on key, it starts blinking. That is what we do not want. We want whenever the button is pressed, only then it should start blinking. So for that, let's add this in the code. So port C dot F0 is our button pin. So I copy this, copy this from here and write it here. If port C dot 
f0 double equals to uh, 1 that whenever if the button is pressed then give some debouncing delay that if the button is accidentally pressed by any other means so it should not work I just give it a uh, 30 milliseconds that will be fine now again you write the same that's how you give a debouncing delay like this now give the ending brackets for both the loops two brackets like this now guys this button whenever this button will be pressed only then the blinking will start we build and we write this code now I click on write to see the new code is being written let's see let me write the code okay the new code is written this is the hardware so by default you can see that uh, I press the on see on is not pressed I press the on here see the LEDs are not blinking now previously they were blinking now they will start blinking as soon as you press the button so that is what we want see I press the button now they are now they start blinking for as long as I hold the button it will blink and the moment I release a button they stop blinking see but what we want is that once the button is pressed it should keep on blinking so for that we will do another thing here now we need to hold the bit so if now inside it I write while one a forever loop inside a forever loop now this is a forever loop see that now if the button is pressed then the code will go in the forever loop and the, these LEDs will keep on blinking so let's build this code and see what happens now we are holding a bit here the once a bit is given then it should take the bit and then it will do whatever it was supposed to do forever see we are using a forever loop within a forever loop this is while one uh, see that as soon as the button is pressed it will go into the forever loop and it will keep on doing whatever it is doing so now we don't have to hold the button to keep the LEDs blinking so let's see what happens does it work as planned now see I power it up from this device it's already powered up you can see that the LEDs are not working let me push the button once see now it's blinking forever now how to break out of this loop see this is the button which, which have to break us out of this loop so LED should stop blinking now let me show you again let me zoom in see that I turn it off I turn it on see LEDs are not blinking but as soon as I press the button this button it will start blinking see it's blinking now guys let me do the task of breaking out of the loop now what I do is that whenever the other button is pressed it will break out of this loop for that just copy this place inside the forever loop like this give some debouncing delay because that's important you give the ending brackets debouncing delay of 30 will do fine okay just make it 20 inside it this will do fine now this is now 1 we have the stop button at 1 that will be the difference see that it's c dot f1 so I build the new code now now what it should do okay wait a second c dot f1 whenever it is pressed what it should do okay we don't have to do this we have to give the ending brackets here make a correction c now whenever this will be pressed it will break after completing one blinking it will break out of the loop if you have pressed this button this break command means it will break out of the loop forever loop now I build this code I click on write let me zoom out a bit see the new code is being burned let's see now our one button is initiating the code now the other button have to break out of the loop so let's check that button so let's see what happens now okay I press on see nothing happens the power is on it is not working because I have not pressed the on key uh, initiate initialization start button now I press the start button see LEDs are blinking now I need to break out of this loop I press the stop button see it has broken out of the loop now again I press the start button see it's blinking now I press the stop button see it breaks out of the loop so that's how guys you will initialize the push buttons to initiate and break out of a loop whenever you want to do it so guys I hope you learned something from this video if you have any questions or queries you can ask in the comment I will share the 
micro C for pick uh, coding in the description of this video. So thank you very much for your time and have a nice.